Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your July 1st through 15th reading for 2019. This is a collective reading for all Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you'd like a private reading, please go to my website, royalmystic.com, and book your private reading there. I'll be happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. Uh, without any further ado, thank you angels, archangels, divine pure white light. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages. We receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. Thank you so much, Divine, for this beautiful guidance and we welcome your presence here as always. We thank you so much. For your information you're providing. Thank you. Ooh, nice, Sag. This is the here and now current energy. Then we have relationship, love life, and spiritual life starting off nice with the Empress, Seven of Cups, and the Four of Swords. Career and finance. Oh, nice. So, Ten of Swords, Queen of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. That's a, a we're going to see how this turns out. To me, that's a happy ending. <laughs> Knight of Wands. Uh, this is that Sagittarian energy flying in, taking action. Sagittarius don't like to fool around. They're always on the go 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 so the night of course is taking action uh, pursuing something someone pursuing you um, ace of cups beautiful energy of divine universe giving the blessing of the universe to whatever new endeavor you begin now this is the holy grail uh, and the new cycles are here in the moon moon cycles and then you've got the beautiful divine all-seeing eye very very brilliant with the wonderful divine light shining down into the cup and into the water surrounding so this is about uh, given given the universe's blessing in the highest holy way this is the uh, most grand gesture the universe can make as far as approving uh, your you know giving you the go-ahead of you know all systems go here's our blessing then we have and that has to do just, my guides are telling me, don't forget, somebody might be needing this information. If you're uh, working on uh, your own healing or bringing in healing energy, this is that energy. So this is important. It's also uh, regarding psychic energy, love, and uh, restoration of all things, okay? It is the highest, I mean, this, this is <laughs> big magic, they're saying, <laughs> big magic. So... Here is the, the Nine of Wands, and this is letting you know you're almost at the end of whatever it is that you're going through. Some of you may be in recovery from something, uh, finishing up the end of a cycle of treatment. We have this messenger, this Page of Wands uh, coming in, usually requiring action or uh, dictating some action, a request for action. So then we have this Five of Pentacles. So if you're in a place of feeling forgotten or feeling like this is never going to come to an end and you don't see what you need manifesting, uh, remember we have to believe it before we can see it and this is that case. This is the three, uh, three pinnacles lit up behind her. She cannot see it because this is a two-dimensional card but she is above. So if you were standing in room, here's the window. She's in front of the window. She can't be part of the wall so she can't see it. So... Just know that this is the sign that things are changing. Uh, it is being, it is in development. It is being worked on behind the scenes. And even though you can't see it with your natural eyes, don't stop believing in it because it is, it is on the way. And don't feel left out and forgotten. It, it is, it's still working in your behalf. So, in your uh, relationship, love life, and spiritual life, we have the Empress. Empress is a very fertile energy. Divine Feminine is here. This is either your energy or someone else's energy, maybe in, in a relationship with you. As relationship to the universe, this is the creative energy of the universe coming in. Um, it is, you know, creativity itself. It is 
bring something to life that did not exist. This is the muse for, for creative in, uh, energy for people who are artists or uh, um, designers of any kind, uh, anybody that's doing some kind of uh, invention. That's that energy that spurs on the, the, the thoughts and ideas that bring something into being. Um, the Seven of Cups comes after that, and that's a blessing in abundance. Now, when this blessing comes in, um, so some people read this card as negative. There's nothing negative I can see in this card. I have no feeling of, neg of negativity whatsoever. In fact, it's very reminiscent of this card. If you look at the... It's beautiful, okay? So this is the, the Eucharist, the Holy Grail, the Divine Elixir of Life, okay? And then now we have seven. <laughs> so the only, the only caveat that would come with this is that it may feel like a lot of work. Um, and it can be overwhelming. So, you know, we, can, we have to always remember when we're in the overwhelmed portion of something that it indeed still is a blessing even though it requires a lot of action. And the action may actually wear you out. <laughs> or you may be in recovery and this would be the blessings uh, coming in. So definitely feel like I'm speaking to somebody on this this cup being offered as, as a source of healing. And being in the last leg of maybe you're waiting to find out what the results are so that you can move on and start living your life again. But this is that exhaustion that you need to recover, restore. And if you are in a place of... Um, uh, healing from some illness do not try to to jump back into your life as as you left it because you know we have to baby steps okay don't don't overdo it so ten of swords ten of swords is cutting loose of something negative having it actually be removed and the door closed usually this is mental energy it can be fear it can be negative talk or thought or even negative uh, toxic energy at work so Something is changing there. This is putting an end to it. And this Queen of Swords is coming in. So the Queen of Swords uh, may indeed be you standing up and saying, you know what, I've had about enough of this. And this, <laughs> this is standing up for yourself and speaking your truth. Okay? And, and getting the you know what out of there. Or, or stopping something that's being done. Uh, speaking up and, and, and doing something about it. Now... It also may be you speaking up saying, I'm not going to take this anymore. I'm going to find another place to be. And whatever it is, is profitable. So we have this Ten of Pentacles. We'll see in just a second how that really rolls out with these wonderful clarifiers. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods, and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages. We receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. Thank you for your divine guidance. Your presence is always welcome and very appreciated. Here we go. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, well, that's the job. There it is. Money, 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 money. Money. <laughs> the Four of Pentacles. Money in the bank. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. There, there's the cup again. So that was no mistake. Three of Cups celebrating your victory. No, oh, here we have Ace of Cups and to all believers. So, this cup is saying we bless your, your, the future. Here you are. Here's this cup. Here's the highest holy blessing. Universe restoring, renewing, good health, uh, vitality, love, intuition, all kinds of spiritual blessings as well as physical, emotional, everything. This is of the elixir of life. This is the elixir so you drink from this cup anything that ails you anything holding you back is released it's almost like absolution uh my guide said absinthe <laughs> oh they're funny okay 
So to all believers, is the energy of this card is about the, the actual deck, this little baby deck here. Uh, it is the Hanson Roberts mini deck. And this is an extra bonus card that comes in for the readers. And uh, I leave it in the deck because it really means having faith. And this could not be a more perfect pairing of you having your bringing in your own healing, your own restoration, your own revitalization from what you believe in your heart. And it truly is manifesting. So here is the nine of uh, rods, which is your Sagittarian energy. And it's saying you're almost there. Don't, don't stop believing. The famous journey song, um, the ballad. So here is the hierophant on top. So this is an acceptance to a, an organization, a company, uh, something big like a hospital, a government agency, um, university, or just a large corporation with many, many people that work there. There it is, calling you in to come work. The ten of sword, oh, ten of not swords, ten of rods that are blooming. So you got the page. Who's saying, come on in, and then there you are, heading in for the new job. And where you felt lack and, and forgotten, because you're waiting for this information to come in and tell you it's time to start. We have the four of pinnacles on top, which is saying money in the bank. So, finally, it's kicking into gear. So, don't give up. Don't give up hope, and don't, don't uh, let yourself get too into your emotions about it. So, the empress, which is that creative energy... With a perfect pairing of the Page of Swords. Because this Page of Swords is bringing in divine uh, thought or action. Okay. He, that's, remember, the air sign is all about thinking and spoken words. So, Seven of Cups. Beautiful of blessings and abundance. And whatever it is is still to be revealed. Because you have the Moon card. The Moon card is something in development. It may be a creative project or a relationship. Or something cool that's about to open up and let you uh, enter in. So there's maybe a new new thing on the horizon. Beautiful healing. Uh, wonderful. Let this happen. Okay. Bring this in with the Seven of Cups. And this is saying you're ready to move forward. So, so those of you who have had some kind of uh, treatment that you've been involved in. This this is your, your go ahead. To, okay. Now you can start back your regular normal Life actually heading into smoother waters because the Six of Swords means you're moving forward with, with what you've learned and the information that you have. Also ideas uh, and moving in the right direction. So this is perfect. So we've got some good energy going on here. Now, this looks like a judgment. Okay, so whatever, this is the Justice card. This is energy of bringing in fair and decisive judgment in your favor so this means it puts an end to the worry and the fear so if you're waiting to find out if you have the job or not it looks like you're the front runner queen of swords very strong interview and intellectual knowledge you demonstrated very well in the in the interview process so they are they are looking at you for a very very strong now, for somebody, this is a financial thing. <clears throat> Whatever's been looming over you. Hang on, I need a sip of tea. Whatever's been looming over you has now been removed. Whatever this judgment is may be a uh, law decision. And this can have the energy of being an attorney or somebody representing you. Um, there's lots going on because you've got the Eight of Swords where that uh, may have something to do with with you know your fear of what the judgment will be but you have the ten of pentacles which means you're able to move forward and cat you know the cash is yours and then you have the ace of cups on top of that talking about fully being fully restored uh in all ways again second time that comes out so for those of you that this is talk you know job showed up over here and here so, um, this is also about healing and relationship. Then you've got this possible court thing going on because you've got these cards that all talk about something and a, and a, and the money coming through. So this can definitely be having to do with whatever your, 
you're trying to do as a, as a getting picked for the job, but I feel like this actually has to do somebody is listening and this is talking about some court action that you are actually going to come out on, on top of. So uh, happy, happy. Many blessings to you all, Sagittarius. Don't forget we have the weeklies. And if you uh, want to join the Daily Mystic, the join button is down below. If you don't see a join button, that means you're on an Apple product and you'll have to text me or email me and I'll send you the link. For $4.99 a month, you get uh, five readings a week. So 20 readings for $4.99, that's not too bad. And these are, the dailies are all about the daily energy. So we do daily affirmations and a meditation. So if you want to start your day off with us, then uh, join and we'll be more than happy to have you in our wonderful positive mystic vibe tribe. So many blessings to you all. Have a fabulous first half of July. Stay safe on the holidays. Many blessings, abundance, and light to you. Namaste.